Hi everyone, it's Julian from Digital Trends and I'm here with Kodak Actra. It's Kodak's new phone that actually wasn't built by Kodak. It's uh, sort of, they sort of just licensing their brand name out and this was built by Bullet Group. Um, but if you want to just take a quick look at the phone itself, uh, you can see uh, the design has this sort of camera grip feel to, to be uh, nostalgic and reminiscent of a Kodak phone. Uh, you have this giant 21 megapixel camera on the back, but unfortunately it's not optical zoom, so you, you, have, to, you, you have to settle for digital zoom. Uh, here you have a dedicated camera button, power button, volume rocker, and uh, that's just about it. The phone is Android 6.0. It seems to run fairly snappy. It has a MediaTek processor, uh, the MT6797 Helio X20. And uh, apart from that, I guess we can talk about the memory, uh, 32 gigs of ROM, internal storage, and uh, 3 gigs of RAM. Now the front megapixel camera account is 13 megapixels, which is pretty high. Uh, and it has f-stop of 2.2, and the back is 21 meg megapixels with uh, an f-stop of aper or aperture of 2.0. It features OIS on the back only. But the screen itself is a 5-inch full HD uh, 1080p screen. And the battery, surprisingly, is pretty pretty high. Um, it's 3,000 milliamp powered. So this is a relatively decently spec phone. Uh, the only thing that is a little thing to be wary about may be the MediaTek processor, but so far, you know, we, we haven't seen a lot of MediaTek phones in the U.S. Uh, that aren't necessarily flagship phones or phones that are priced a little high. And this phone is $549, so it's not cheap, uh, and uh, it'll be coming to the U.S. in April. But let's obviously take a look at the main part of this camera, or phone, I should say, the camera. You can see right here the camera is right there and again they're sort of going for this nostalgic feel of a uh, Kodak camera. You can move through this wheel right here and gives you haptic feedback as you move along and what's neat is that they have this uh, manual mode that lets you fully customize what you're taking a photo of you know based on you can change the ISO, um, aperture, shutter speed, everything. And you know, there's all these built-in features right here, including something like a Super 8 camera and Kodak Gallery, an option to uh, print your photos and pick it up or have it delivered to your house. Uh, so, you know, this is a photographer, photography enthusiast's phone. Uh, it's still a little pricey. 549 gets you a lot of good phones these days. Uh, and, you know, the lack of OIS, uh, sorry, the lack of an optical zoom on the back really uh, seems to make this phone fall a little short in an initial impression. But you know, when we get a unit, we'll do a full hands-on, uh, full review, and uh, take a look at it to see how it holds up. But for now, this is the Kodak Extra. Again, it's coming in April uh, for $549.